One, two, three! Lightning boom! Lightning boom! Lightning boom! There we go. All right, listen. Get stretch out those legs. Wrong way, especially with your hamstring. Let's get it. Let's be healthy yeah, through baby. the three games. We got a World Series to play next week. I do not want anyone coming up lame because they're not stretched out. Oh, my out ankle! I'm ready. I've always been interested in sports and I've been legally blind since I was seven years of age and and so you know I, I just jumped in with with friends of mine who love to play sports uh, growing up in Michigan and um, that was as a kid and as a teenager and as an adult when the opportunity in um, 2000 came up with the Association for Blind Citizens to to play adaptive baseball I'm like wow you know I've never really done that but you know I used to hit off a of batting tee and I I love baseball, so it was like a natural thing for me to, to try, it, try it out, and I loved it, and I've been playing ever since then. It starts with a, a ball, which is a 16-inch softball with electronics in it that makes it beep, and you get to bat. Um, everybody who plays wears a blindfold because some people are legally blind and some people are totally blind, except for the guy or lady throwing you the ball who is a pitcher, they're, they're a sighted coach. And the pitcher is actually on your team trying to underhand the ball to you so you can hit it. You get four strikes, four swings at the ball, and when you hit the ball, the team in the field tries to uh, stop the ball or block it with their body, kind of like maybe a soccer goalie, and then to pick it up. And that's called a caught ball when you have possession and you, you pick it up. And if they do that before you run to the base, you're out. But if you run to the base before they do that, you know, that's, that's a point uh, or a score. Uh, I should say that the bases are like tackling dummies. They're like four feet high and they're about this wide. And um, they're soft, they're full of foam. So you actually, when you run, you run right through the base. And, um, you know, it doesn't hurt or anything like that. Um, and, right you know, that's how a, a blind person plays baseball. My involvement with beat baseball started roughly around, I think it was 2003. Um, Rob Weissman, the head coach, sort of invited me along to... Uh, Come to a couple practices, I start off doing that. I've done, I've done everything from umpire to help with the bench to scorekeeping and helping on the field, spotting on the field, calling games on the field. So, I've done the whole gamut for the team. So, spotting on the out in the defense is um, more or less you're, re, you're positioning the players between innings, between batters, between pitches, and then also calling out different zones. So, the field is broken up in the most simplistic way is basically six zones. And it starts from the first base side to the third base side going um, basically pie wedge shapes, zones one through six. So you, if the ball is hit to say first base, it'll be the one zone. If it's hit up to the third base side, it would be the um, six zone. So the spotter will call out, say, two if the ball is hit in the two zone. And the people in that, that are in that zone will um, react accordingly. I got involved with the beat baseball program with the Association of Blind Citizens back in 2007 and I just tried it out initially and then I just it just grew on me the challenge of trying to learn the sport and the challenge of um, just becoming a good player a player that could fit in with the whole group um, there was just so many challenges but it was so worth it we have these ready positions like you we hear the coach who's pitching to the person at bat say you know set ready pitch and they go through their cadence and at that time we get into sort of a low position um, where our knees are bent and our arms kind of come out along our side um, and that's so that we can hear the ball because it's beeping and the lower you are the better you are able to hear the ball because sometimes it goes rounder, sometimes it's 
a hard hit ball in the air first and then it comes down. So you give yourself an advantage to lower your R to the ground. Yes, I saw you I mean, really, what what I would say for why I why I do it is I'm I'm a firm believer in in people wanting to push themselves forward, uh, for people to wanting to to become a little bit more, a little bit better tomorrow than they are today, and something like this, an athletic an athletic event like this, they're really able to tell, especially in the hitting side. I, I work as a batting coach, so the stuff that, that we're working on is trying to maintain a, a stable balance when they're at bat, trying to make it so that their swing goes at the exact same speed every time, it's the exact same height every time. Because um, if, they're, if they're able to swing the exact same height, the exact same rhythm every single time when they're swinging, it becomes really easy to pitch to and they're going to have a lot more success. After they get the timing down, then it's trying to find ways to, to kind of get a little bit more power, a little bit more power, maybe it's keeping their weight back a little bit more, maybe it's opening up at the proper time, um, you know, following through with your hands. Each one of the batters has a, has a slightly different batting profile. Set. They're able to track all this growth, all this improvement. Guys are able to set goals for themselves. You know, I'm, I'm batting 300 now, I want to be batting 350 next year. You know, what are the things I can do to get there? You know, all the all the work along the way. It's just I love I love being able to see people become a little bit more, a little bit better. It's just great. I've been playing for the Boston Red Wings since 19, uh, 2002. We were the first players in this team, and uh, so we're the pioneer of this team. So the idea came because we uh, wanted to have a sport. You know, just like any any other sport, we want to have a sport for the blind around Boston because we never had any. You know, other sport that we can play after losing your vision, probably most of the sport can be shut up from you. So we decided to have a, a big ball, big baseball. There's a team here from, uh, you know, Association of Blind Citizen uh, sponsored us and said, okay, we're going to have a team for baseball. So we started. And believe me, I never played baseball before. That's my first time I ever swung a bat. It's just the enjoyment of helping out and seeing these guys, you know, perform and get better. It's a fun sport. We really love playing ball.